guys, Coach Royce here. Today I want to talk to you about water. Or more importantly, I want to talk to you about hydration. I'm hearing too often that people are not drinking enough water, they're not motivated to drink water, or they think they're drinking enough water and they're not even close. Not drinking enough water and not being hydrated is probably one of the fastest ways that you can slow your metabolism down. And obviously on the subject of weight loss and body fat reduction, we want to have the most efficient metabolism that we can, right? Well, what's metabolism? Metabolism is the rate at which your body uses energy, but it can't use energy if it can't absorb energy, right? Almost every biological function in your body requires hydration because we're 70% water. Well, one of the most important things that it does is digestion, breaking down the foods you eat, absorbing vitamins and minerals. If you're not hydrated, you are not going to be optimally absorbing vitamins and minerals. This puts you at high risk for body fat storage and malabsorption. And this is just talking about absorbing vitamins and minerals. I'm not even talking about the other side of this, which is performance and other effects of dehydration. Um, when you're not hydrated, your blood is very viscous meaning it's not pumping very quickly and you're not getting oxygen to the muscle tissues as fast as it's going to need it. You ever feel tired during the day? You ever yawn? That's because your brain's lacking oxygen from lack of blood supply, from dehydration. Nine times out of ten when you're tired it's because you're dehydrated. Dehydration can affect your performance, your mental clarity, your exercise, everything, absorption, everything. It affects everything. Being hydrated should be one of the most important things to you if you are serious about your weight loss goals. So what do you do from here? You need to find out how much water you need today because it's not 64 ounces. That's sort of a baseline. A baseline for the general population that's not exercising and that doesn't have a, a job that requires physical labor of any kind. So my advice to you is to consider this. No one should drink less than 100 ounces of water per day. So how do you know how much water you need? I suggest you get a good coach that can guide you in the right direction with your water or go to Google and Google Hydration Calculator. There are a ton of them out there and they all have different quizzes that lead you to your, your estimated ounces of water that you should drink. And some of the questions are, are you pregnant, are you breastfeeding? What type of climate do you live in? Super hot, super cold? Uh, what's your elevation? What's your activity level? What's your body fat? What's your weight? What's your age? All these things affect how much water you need today. And Actually, one of the most common questions I get is, or one of the most common things that I hear is, I heard that I should take my body weight and divide it in half, and that's how many ounces of water I should drink. Well, okay, take a 200-pound person who's at 35% body fat, that's 100 ounces of water. That's, that's not enough water, but that's just a baseline. Take a 200 pound bodybuilder. He's going to require, he or she, I just assumed it was a he, is going to require probably several gallons, two to three gallons of water per day. So you can't really go by body weight and divide it in half. It's just sort of a guideline. It's sort of a starting point, if you will, to how much water you should drink. So my suggestion, if you don't have a coach, Google Hydration Calculator, take some quizzes out there, take a handful of them, they all have different questions, and find out how much water you need to stay hydrated, and consider any variables that you have that will affect your hydration. Variables are alcohol, caffeine, caffeine, not just coffee, but all caffeine, soda and everything else. So consider variables. There are also foods out there that are diuretics. Um, if you know what they are, if you don't, don't worry about that for right now. Just think about your, just think about your overall water intake and try to be better about it. But consider your variables, and please, guys, drink water, stay hydrated. I'll see you next time.